Hello. Glad to see you again today. Uh, I would like to shoot this, uh, this particular video in relationship to mucus and congestive problems. Uh, pneumonia, sinus problems, bronchial or bronchitis, uh, tumors, masses, uh, uh, cysts, all this stuff comes from the same material. And so one must understand the human body to understand mucus and the role of mucus in the health of the human body. And when we have all these congestive problems, uh, how we remedy that. Typically, medical doctors have worked on the old Jenner Pasteur theory of the germ. Uh, wasn't it Pasteur, I think, that killed two of his children the, trying to prove that the germ had some validity and, and pathology? In reality, man freaks out with uh, pathogens, uh, which is microbial and the like, for no reason. Um, reminds me of that uh, uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not segment where this young man had a lymphoma. And he finally found an Eskimo elder in northern Alaska to help him with the lymphoma. And the little old Eskimo elder told him to eat rotten food. And so he started eating rotten food. Of course, he threw up, he said, for about three weeks or so. But after he got used to it, uh, he, he felt it was pretty good. So he started eating all this rotten seal meat and rotten food. And three months later, no lymphoma left. And the reason for this, of course, is that all septic systems are full of bacteria. And the biggest, the serious problem medical doctors have had is the lack of understanding of the role of nature and why God created bacterium and their effect upon tissue. Uh, and they're not after your cells, they're after the congestion, they're after the toxemia, they're after the cellular wastes. The acids that cells eliminate must be acted upon. So all your lymph nodes are full of bacteria, just like your septic tanks at your house are full of bacteria. You would never kill the bacteria in your septic tank at your house because it wouldn't be long. You'd be flushing your toilet and waste would be backing up in your house because nobody would be breaking down the waste in your toilet, in your septic tank. And that the, God made these guys as janitors. What we have to understand is that we create a culturing medium for this by not moving our lymph systems properly. You back up sewage, you're going to see more activity in that. And sewage in the body is the cell waste. Cell waste are acids. And because these acids can damage the cells, this lymphatic fluid, this sewer fluid in the body is a mucus fluid. It is a lipid or cholesterol-based fluid that, that flows around the cell. 75% of the fluids that flow around the cell are the lymphatic fluids. Only 25% is blood. If you pop a big pimple, you will see 75% lymph and 25% blood. And the reason is that because acids are corrosive in chemistry, aggressive. It, uh, women use acetates or acetones to strip the fingernail polish off. So this mucosa that you have lining your mouth, lining your sinuses, lining the bronchi, lining your gut, your lungs. That is your main immune system. The mucus is how the body protects itself against acids or proteins or foreign chemistry. Even hot habaneros or, or uh, uh, peppers, you can feel a lot of mucus from it because it's abrasive to the mucosa. Anything that's abrasive or that can harm the body, the body produces mucus to protect it. Well, this mucus fills up the sinuses and the, and the voice box and the lungs and the bronchioles, and then we start talking like this. And it's just, we have to get this mucus out, because if you keep the mucus in, then you lose the ability to smell. You lose the ability to taste, to hear. You wonder where you parked the car. You can't breathe properly. You start having cancers of these areas. Right now, esophageal, palate, uh, eye, eye socket, brain cancers are all over the place. We get a ton of them in here. And it's just this mucus. Well, medical, the medical community has always suppressed the body's ability to eliminate mucus. Mucinex is one of the first true expectorants I've seen on the market in a long time. And now you're getting into herbal thinking, expectorants, cleansers, things that eliminate this mucus and clean it out of you. If you don't clean mucus out of you, it's your next mass, your next tumor. All a tumor is is a pocket of fluid. Tumor's not cancerous. Only a cell is cancerous. Cancer isn't a disease. It's a damaged cell. 
Well, what side? There's only two sides of chemistry. What side of chemistry do you think damages a cell? It's not base chemistry. It's not the female chemistry. That's the healing side of chemistry. It, yes, it is the acid corrosive side of chemistry. CNN did a special on cancer years ago and went to a chemist and asked the chemist, which is what I am, and asked the chemist, what, what causes cancer? Well, cancer is of a damaged cell, a mutated cell. Well, there's only two sides of chemistry, and of course the answer was acids. But this mucus that builds up in the sinuses, then we have sinus infection. Whenever you hear the word infection, think acid sewage. If you understand the lymph system and you understand infections, nothing but acid sewage. That's why UTIs and, and yeast infections in women burn. Acids burn and hurt. That's a sign that you're not moving your lymph system and you need to move it because if you don't move it, those acids eventually will burn the cell, especially when intracellular acidosis occurs. It's kind of like having constipation. If you have constipation, don't move your bowels. After a while, you start absorbing this putrefaction and, and toxemia and fermentation. You start getting headaches and you can't think right. Well, think of it at the cellular level, a different form of constipation, a much more serious form of constipation because as the cell mutates, it becomes atypical and then cancer. And mucus is always in, involved in this process. To detoxify pneumonias, and they, no one ever died of pneumonia in the natural health field. When you see people die of pneumonia, I, I thought this, uh, uh, this preacher man that, uh, that uh, made it out of the hospital with pneumonia was lucky. Most people die in the hospital from pneumonia, not from pneumonia, from the complications of pneumonia, from the treatment of pneumonia. Look, look at uh, the antibiotics, the Cipro. It kills a lot of people, and yet you can get Cipro like candy. Look at the nature of Cipro. Look at the side effects of Cipro. Gave one of my clients uh, four blood clots and a heart attack, and yet they still sell it on the market. It's like we don't love each other. Pharmaceutical companies are willing to put these toxic chemicals on the market for the money because it certainly isn't for the health of it. It's not to help the human race. And here these states buy into this, oh, we're going to protect you guys from, from the natural health people that don't hurt anybody, that cures everything. And we're going to allow the, the people that kills everything and uses these toxic drugs to rule. That's what's going on out there. And the judges are buying into that too, forcing you to, to feed your kids chemotherapy, battery acid. I mean, this is insane. And it's going to have to turn around. And, and the more you guys uh, learn and grow and help turn this around, we'll have a great civilization. If not, uh, man is about to exterminate himself off the planet. A lot of women can't even conceive anymore. These genetics and looking at the adrenals and the kidneys and looking at the tremendous weaknesses genetically th these young people face. So these are, are good educational videos for you, especially if you're young. There is regeneration of tissues. There is genetic remembering of cells. That's what we're into here. We're going to teach you how to rebuild your body and clean all this mucus out. Fruits are the best way to detoxify the body. There's a lot of people telling you don't eat fruits. It's all fungus. It feeds cancer. This is all crap. Uh, look at my website. Read my dissertation on sugars. This is all stupid. Vegetable matter, we're not herbivores. We're not horses, cows, and elephants. We're frugivores. And fruits, I've detoxified people for 40 years. I knew Ann Wigmore. Matter of fact, I'm an old farm boy, and I asked Ann one time, why did you pick wheat? Alfalfa is a much superior plant over wheat. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on out there, but fruits have always been the top of the line in detoxifying the lymphatic.